Everybody, it's Donna from Terra. Terra doing another Saturday Smackdown. We're going to take this die, which has all 12 signs on it. We're going to roll it twice and find out who is dealing with who. And we're going to do a reading for them. So let's see who is in a relationship with who. Scorpio. Scorpio has been hot lately. Scorpio is dating everybody. I don't know. Um, <laughs> everybody's dating a Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio and uh, Taurus. Didn't we just do that one? Didn't we just do that one? I feel like we did. Scorpio and Taurus. Okay, they're squaring off. Um, let's see. What spread are we going to do for you all? Pudge. Pudge is so cute. All right, so let's see. Broken heart relationship spread. Okay. All right, it is what it is. Broken heart relationship spread. So we're going to use the what deck? And please let it be something that's not weird. <laughs> and it probably is. Um, yeah, it's weird. Vampire Tarot deck. So this is a deck that some of the cards I can't even show you. Because it's such a hot mess. All right, so this deck... is on the bottom of the deck from when I shuffled and put it away. Three of grails is like three of cups. So this has to do with, it could be three people in the mix, or it could be, um, a, you know, reconciliation. So well, usually three of cups, three of grails is three of cups. Um, usually that's a card of reconciliation, but it could also be three people in the mix. So let's see what's going on with y'all. So it's called Broken Heart Relationship Spread done with the Vampire Tarot. The Tarot of the Vampires. All right, so your part in the problem is represented by uh, Daughter of Skulls. That's like Page of Pentacles. Um, what? Well, you, you felt like they were somebody who didn't have much to offer, and they were kind of a burden. Because you have the Daughter of Skulls, which is like the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the, the Ten of, um, the crap was it? Ten of Wands, basically. And in this deck, it is the Scepters. Okay, so it was Ten of Scepters. Yeah. Didn't I just say, I hope it's not a weirdo deck? Yep, here we go. So, partner's problem, partner's part of the problem. Your partner's part in the problem is the okay so they like to live the good life mm. ten of skulls is like ten of pentacles now in the regular tarot um it's like somebody who likes to live it up and have a good time or live the good life um maybe they like to live a life of luxury I don't know if it, on somebody else's dime, possibly. Um, what you can do, nine of pentacles, be single. <laughs> nine of pentacles, nine of skulls is like nine of pentacles. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, skulls is pentacles. Um, nine of skulls is nine of pentacles. So be single, be a good all on your own. That is funny because that's what you can do in, in the uh, broken heart relationship spread. What they can do... Um, Eight, work on it or throw themselves into their work. Eight of Pentacles. This is funny as crap. This is funny as crap. Because you can just be single from them and they can focus on work or try to work on things with you. Um, other influences, Six of Cups, the past. So, Six of Cups, Six of Grails, like Six of Cups. Um, six of Cups is usually a card of either getting back together the past, revisiting, revisiting the past, getting back together with somebody, or um, somebody from the past could be involved in things, could be messing things up, or they could be stuck in the past, living in the past, and letting problems from the past cause them to have trust issues now. And if they have trust issues with you, that means they're not going to trust you, even though you're not the one who screwed them over. So there's that. Um, can it be saved? I think, yeah, because <laughs> it's, 
This is the card of happily ever after. Ten of Grails is like the Ten of Cups. That's the card of happily ever after and having everything you want. Um, so can it be saved? It's, it's clarified by that. Is it worth saving? <laughs> this is the, like the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is like, you know, at a crossroads. Can't decide, trying to decide which way to go. Is it worth saving? It's clarified by a two. That, which is like not answering the question. It's like you're answering a question with a question. So to clarify that, Queen of Knives. Okay, so is it worth saving? I'm going to say if you're willing to have firm boundaries with this person and tell them what time it is and not tolerate any bullcrap, have firm boundaries with them. If you do that, yeah, then it's worth saving. What's on the bottom of the deck? Uh, four of Skulls. Um, so, yeah, stubbornness might be a problem here. Four skulls is like um, four pentacles. Stubbornness and mobility. Um, it can also be a card of being miserly and holding too tight to uh, for the purse strings. Or needing needing to hold on to your money. Either needing to hold on to your money or um, that stubbornness being a problem. Being immobile. Because this is what's on the bottom of the deck. So four skulls. Yeah, this is not the easiest deck to read. Um, all right, so let's do six cards, Donna's Destiny. And I think I'm going to close this out. This will be the last. Um, I did. I already did um, relationships for Sagittarius and Libra, Virgo and Cancer, Scorpio and Virgo, Leo and Aquarius, and now Scorpio and Taurus. All right, so. Well, it's in reverse. It brought it up, though. So this person did have abandonment issues, but they're in reverse. So it's it's saying that they had, but they don't now. Um, it's not as bad as you think it is. It's also in reverse. Okay, there's that. Um, save your money is in reverse. Come on, we could do all these in reverse. Trust issues are affecting your relationship, and it's it's sideways. So that means not so much anymore. Was a big problem. Not so much anymore. Ask them out is also in reverse. And get a reading is sideways. Um, if you really feel like you need one, I guess, and then pay it forward to sideways. That's weird. All right. So I don't know what else is there. Is there anything else I can tell you? Can I do a quick Oracle card? Maybe four, four is divine energy Oracle. Okay. So, well, that is actually not even here. All right. So no, we're not going to do that. Um, the only thing I could say is if this in any way, shape, or form resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever, whatever makes you happy. All right. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you in the next SmackDown.